What's up guys, today I'm gonna to take you through a day in the life on my inpatient night shift. Yes, yes. All right guys, so I got to work around 5.45 and then came in just before six to receive checkout from the day team. And after receiving checkout, my upper level bought me dinner from BJ's. So enjoyed a nice spicy chicken sandwich from dinner. After that, we just ran our list. Luckily, we only have three patients currently on our service. Right now it is Christmas Eve, so not a ton of people are wanting to come to the hospital. Um, and then after midnight, it will be Christmas day. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock on wood and hopefully I have a good night. Right now I'm just keeping an eye on vitals and labs and I'll be answering any calls throughout the night. So I'll keep you guys updated. First real call or checkup on a patient of the night. We're gonna see if this patient had a bowel movement. Basically, nurse documented that she had one. So just gonna go check the characteristics because they're they are concerned of a stool burden. Obviously, if it's super watery um, and not like a really formed bowel movement, then we're gonna, you know, then we'll probably scan her, do like manual disimpaction. But if the stool looks pretty regular or somewhat regular for having a bowel regimen and an enema, then we'll be okay and probably not have to do any of that. All right guys, unfortunately, there was no bowel movement to inspect. So the nurse did say she saw one and that was kind of liquidy. So there is still some concerns for stool burden, but we'll uh, keep an eye on her overnight. Just grab myself a soda and I'm gonna head back to the call room. All right guys, back in the call room. Pretty messy. <laughs> Got some holiday cheer in here. We have a poinsettia with a elf. And then we have a pretty sweet Christmas tree here, USB Christmas tree. And then, and then plenty of snacks, crackers, fridge filled with stuff, some healthy snacks too, oranges, apples, water. Oh, these are really good. If you guys haven't tried these, these like, I don't even know what they are, but they're super good. Highly recommend. All right guys, so it's actually 4.15 in the morning right now. My shift ends at six. Haven't had a single call since that last clip. Gonna knock on some more wood, <laughs> but um, actually been working on the video that I'm filming right now. I think what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and lay down, take like an hour nap or so. Just rest my eyes for a bit before heading to the gym. All right guys, I'm whispering because my upper level is right across this wall right here. All right, guys, I was able to get some uh, sleep uninterrupted, so it was nice. Feeling kind of tired, but so I'll be checking out to the day team here in about 40 minutes or so. All right, sun's not up yet, but it's got done with my night shift, heading to the gym. Yo, look at these lights. Guys, no one's here at the gym. It's just you and me getting a sick chest workout in. Beautiful background behind me, but no one's here. Gonna be hitting this chest and arm workout by myself, but uh, just blasted the heater. Gonna slam some pre really quick. Some uh, Legend Red Berry and some sour, whoa, some sour watermelon pump. Gonna have a good workout. Merry Christmas, cheers. All right guys, welcome to today's workout and voiceover. Today I kind of wanted to talk about my split, my reasoning, and my goals of why I do this split. I may have talked about this briefly before, but I had someone ask, you know, what split am I on and, and why am I doing that split? So basically, whenever creating a workout split, I like to think of your goals first. So for me personally, my goals are hypertrophy first and then strength second. With me really wanting to emphasize hypertrophy, that's going to determine how many days a week I'm training each muscle group. Now there have been a lot of studies that have been done in order to kind of show uh, what frequency of training muscle groups is most optimal for muscle hypertrophy and they found that muscle rebuilding process generally lasts about 48 hours. Now, if you're wanting to gain the most muscle sizes possible, you want those muscle groups to be in that 48 hour regrowth period as much as possible. What that means is I would like optimally to train each muscle group twice a week. So the way I'm doing that is I'm doing a modified push workout one the first day, a modified pull workout the second day, 
legs the third day, and then I repeat the split. So I'm on my second in time I'm hitting that muscle group of the week. And then on the seventh day, I rest. Now, why am I modifying my push pull legs split? And that's for my own personal preference. One, because I feel like if I do all pushing and all pulling, then I get roasted by the end of the workout. So I usually like to incorporate some other exercises in between the pushing and pulling to just to give myself a break. Second reason is I want to focus on my weak points. So for me personally, I feel like my upper chest is pretty weak and I feel like my triceps are pretty weak. So what I'm doing in this workout is I'm pairing it with a stronger muscle group so that way I can still get this muscle group in to kind of break up the the pushing aspect on the first workout, but that way I'm not having to spend a ton of time on this muscle group, AKA my biceps, because they're already a strong point in my physique and I can afford to spend less time on this muscle group. So the first day I will do chest, triceps, and biceps, or chest and arms. Second day I do back and shoulders. I feel like shoulders is a really big weak point in my physique. What I like to do is really emphasize my shoulders on this workout, and then I will throw in a lot of back as well. My third day and my sixth day are legs. Um, legs are just weak in general, so let's just not talk about that. But anyways, guys, that's kind of my reasoning on why I do the split. I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. Um, if you guys want, make sure you guys write this workout down, follow along. Uh, since I am aiming for hypertrophy, I generally do anywhere from eight to 12 reps and then sometimes 15 if I'm just warming up. But stay in that rep range, three to four sets per exercise, and I think this will give you guys a solid workout to add to your arsenal. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I hope that all of you got to get in some kind of Christmas workout and then I hope you guys are relaxing the rest of the day and spending it with your family. I actually um, have to go back into work later tonight but thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys it's Christmas morning. We're getting ready to open up presents here. These aren't all for us. These are for some of Madison's family as well. We have the Christmas lights on. Follow my parents on the uh, Alexa show or whatever. Penelope is ready for Christmas. P. Oh, what happened to your antlers? Did you get any Christmas presents? Jake. Oh, that's a good girl. Open your presents. Oh. Hello. Hey, Christmas. What are you wearing? Alright guys, finished opening our Christmas presents. As you can see here, got my Christmas swag going on. But we had an awesome time opening Christmas presents on our Alexa show, I think is what it's called. Brought some kind of normalness to the whole Christmas present opening up. We had a great time. I hope you guys had a good time with your families and got to at least FaceTime them or talk to them or interact with them somehow if you weren't able to be there in person with them. But anyways, um, just testing out some of the new camera equipment I got, or at least I was trying to, and um, I got a new microphone here, but this is not actually the setup I was going for. I actually got a um, like wired lav mic to go onto this, but I just realized that I don't have the correct adapter for it. <laughs> Gonna have to order an adapter for that. And then I also got this monitor here because this camera doesn't have a flip screen. And um, obviously I wouldn't be doing like vlogging out everywhere with this, with this monitor, but it's more for like kind of like sit down production type stuff, but I don't have the right batteries for that. So I can't test that out today either. So kind of a big, big mess. Got to order a couple things, but should be relatively cheap. Kind of going back on my night shift today. Very, very rare that you go an entire night without any calls. I was actually pretty tired that night more than usual, even though I slept like all day yesterday. I actually am back working tonight at six. It's already one o'clock. So 
I'm gonna try and get a couple hours of sleep and then hopefully I can sleep later tonight. Also a couple housekeeping things in terms of the channel in general. One is upload time. I'm gonna still upload every Saturday, but instead of 8 a.m., I'm gonna upload at 11 a.m. Kind of reviewing some analytics stuff. Looks like you guys are more active towards Saturday noon-ish time. So let's try for 11. So for all of you loyal subscribers who are on right when I upload the video, make sure you guys are on at 11 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. Also, I know a lot of you guys really enjoy the vlogs. I appreciate the feedback on the vlogs, but in order to grow the channel and bring on a new audience, I wanna start doing a few more how-to videos um, as well as just like general informational videos. So if you guys have any requests on that, make sure you guys comment down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Merry Christmas to all of you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.